Welcome to Advent of Code 2021, day number two. If you don't know what's going on here, read the description. We're getting right into this. Let's go. Day number two, dive. Now you need to figure out how to pilot this thing, the submarine. It seems like the submarine can take a series of commands like forward one, down two, or up three. Ah, very nice. Forward X increases the horizontal position by X. We got a little logo, a little logo, turtle, turtle graphics going on here. Forward X goes the horizontal position by X. So that would move the submarine to the right. Down goes down and up goes up. And I guess we don't have any turning or reverse. That's not allowed. Maybe part two will have some reverse. Uh, since you're on a submarine, down and up affect your depth, and so they have the opposite result of what you might expect. The sub uh, down increases the depth by X. Yeah, so down moves you down, but your depth value. So if you, so the sub when you do down, the submarine is going down, but you have a value depth. And that value is becoming a bigger number. So if you consider up and down to be the y-axis, you've actually just invert the y-axis, right? A lower, you think about a Cartesian coordinate plane, right? When you increase y, you go up above the x-axis. Well, here, increasing y will send you down below the x-axis. You just multiply by all your y values by negative 1. Okay. Uh, the submarine seems to already have a planned course. Your puzzle input. You should probably figure out where it's going. Your horizontal position and depth both start at zero. The steps above would then modify them as follows. This is pretty straightforward stuff. Uh, you have an X and a Y. Forward five is... So X is always going to just keep going up. Just bigger, bigger X. Down is going to increase the Y. And up is going to decrease the y number uh right or is opposite and depth of 10 multiplying them together so you want to multiply your how far x times how deep calculate the horizontal position and depth you would have after following the plan of course you get if you multiply them together let's get our input uh save link as we'll just save this to like the desktop sure and then we'll go here uh, 2021, 22, uh, D, D, desktop, input.txt. Very nice. I think that worked. Yep. Here's our input. Terrific. Okay. So we've got forward, up, down, followed by a number that we have to parse. All right, well, let's take our handy dandy template and we'll rename it to dive one. Okay, so up here in our input parsing code, uh, we're gonna have to break each, each one apart, right? So, um, Yeah, we're going to want to split the, the command from the number with a space. So let's just go down here and try some try some stuff out. So let's say we have a, a text is equal to a forward 5. And so txt.split on a space is going to give us the forward and the 5. And I think we'll probably want to, like, tuple that. Yeah, so then we get forward 5 as a... And then we want to int. We want to int the second half of that. Right, so we would say, uh, yeah. All right, that seems good. So, uh, for lot for each line, we are going to uh, we'll call the split equal to. Well, we'll say that the command. Uh, uh, we'll do we'll do direction and then uh, value is equal to txt dot split the line. Uh, oh no, it's going to be line dot yeah line dot split on a space. Cool. And then we're going to say value equals int. We're going to cast that. 
It's an int like that. And then we're going to append uh, a tuple that's uh, we're going to recombine them here into a tuple of direction value. Fantastic. Okay. Let's uh, put a breakpoint here and run. Okay. And our parsed input indeed looks correct. Forward seven, forward nine, forward nine, down three, down three. Okay, cool. Uh, cool. All right, so now uh, we'll call this uh, pilot submarine, and we'll take in some directions, which is going to be a list of tuples, right? So part one result is going to equal, well, no, we're going to say, uh, so this, we're going to have this one return the 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 depth and distance and then we'll, we'll multiply over here so we'll say that the uh, depth and the distance is equal to pilot submarine parsed input and then we're going to is equal to depth times the distance right um yep that seems good right because the the answer that we wanted was multiply the uh right Multiply your final horizontal position by depth. So actually, we could we could call it position and depth to be more rather than depth. Well, you already have depth. Uh, let's do depth. And, uh, let's do this position depth. Position depth. Cool. All right. So now uh, let's go here. So we'll say our position always starts at zero and our depth is equal to zero. Um. Let's do this. Let's make a little lookup table. Oops. And in the lookup table, we have a forward. So forward is going to be um, So way I can do this. I don't want to. I, I don't like writing lambdas, even though that would work really well here, just because. Um, I don't like the way they look. It's hard to understand the code. So instead, we're gonna do this. We'll we'll do this forward. I think this will. I think. Uh, I just want to test. I'll probably want to test this, but I think that these will be in scope in this function. I think it'll be a side effect that works. Um, so forward is going to make position, right? And then we have up. Uh, so up is going to be depth minus equals uh, x. But I don't think the input is going gonna, is gonna to hurt us here and try to trick us. But I do want to point out that if we have yeah, so we're gonna we're just gonna have a bunch of downs before we have an up. If you just started with like an up three, your submarine is starting at zero zero, right? So it, it's gonna say it starts yeah, both start at zero, but the submarine can't go into the sky because it's a submarine. So if somehow the input started with some ups right away, clearly it doesn't do that. They're not trying to do a trick question here. But you would want to cap, you would want to cap the um, the depth couldn't be any lower than zero. Uh, so we're gonna say so we'd want to do like an absolute value. You know, we'd want to say um, I guess that the best way to do it would be uh, depth equals uh, the maximum of either zero or uh depth minus x right so this is this is technically the the most correct fashion just wanna yeah so this way you're basically saying okay oh well, it's uh if you're going yeah if you're going up depth is going down with a minus 
But if you go below zero, well, then zero would be greater than that, and therefore, um, you're gonna the the vertical position will be zero. But the, down, you don't have this issue because even if you're at zero, you can, you're you're gonna be going down. So depth plus equals x. So forward, forward, up, up, down, down. And then we're going to say a uh, four direction in directions, right? We're going to do instructions, brackets, uh, direction. Well, we can actually say four. Uh, Command and value in directions. Yeah, that'll work, I think. Uh, oop, get down there. Uh, we're going to say instructions, command, value. And then we're going to return position depth. Cool. I think this is going to work. Let's run it. And something didn't work. Position reference before assignment. Okay, so the scope was not correct there. Okay, okay. I can't just magically uh, grab position from out of there. So we'll just do... Uh... Oh, but there's no way for me to get the parameters here. Um... We have to do this. This is not, I don't like doing this, but it, I'm getting lazy suddenly. I just really, really want to use my fancy dictionary. <laughs> uh, there we go. All right, so you see how we're translating. We have three functions, and we're translating strings to function calls like this. Did it work or not? No, here we go. Uh, position. Oh, I know. I see what's going on. Uh, right. So actually, these functions don't need to be inside of this function anymore. All right, we'll just put them outside. We could have actually probably made like a little class. Actually, would have been better uh, if we did a class thing. You know what? We're not we're not in any kind of hurry. Let's do the class. Uh. There we go. Yeah, this is I think this is much better. I just usually don't think to do things in an object oriented class, you know, kind of way for these simple uh advent of code problems, but actually it seems good here. So
All right, so we start a submarine, and then we do submarine dot pilot submarine. Like that. Uh, and then... Is going to actually be equal to submarine dot position time so there we go let's try that one and something's wrong pilot submarine takes one but two were given ah that's the issue position is not defined on line 38. Oh, we don't actually need that anymore. There we go. Part one result seems wrong. How could there be a negative? Uh, when I did the thing to prevent negatives from happening. Cool. Let's, let's look at this again. So forward. Oh, this is why. <laughs> The forward position should always go up, plus equals x. You're always going to the right. That's that's the issue. And then the depth is going to be either 0 or depth minus x when going up, and then down, depth is goes down. Okay, cool. Okay, we got a 2036120. Okay, so it comes out to the same number, only not negative. 2036120. That's the right answer. We got there. Okay. Let's go back. Uh, and stop this. Okay, now we're in number two. We already have our little functioning submarine that follows instructions and everything. Cool, let's go read the next problem. The planned course doesn't seem to make any sense. You find the submarine manual and discover the process is exactly slightly more complicated. In addition to horizontal position and depth, you also need to track a third value, aim, which also starts at zero. The commands also mean something entirely different than you first thought. Down increases the aim, up decreases the aim, and forward increases the horizontal position, and it increases your depth by your aim multiplied by x. Oh, well, look at that. We already have a class with these three functions. So we just copy the class to make like upgraded submarine. We just change the, the code for these three functions and we add the aim value to the class and that's probably all we got to do because we're following the same instructions. So down means aiming in the positive direction. Yeah, okay, but that this takes care of that because it says increase and decrease here. So that covers that. Uh, the above example does something different. Yep. And following these two instructions, you should have a horizontal, all right, multiplying them together. New interpretation, calculate the horizontal position and depth you would have after the following course. The course hasn't changed. Perfect. Okay, so down it increases. Well, let's make an upgraded submarine first. So we got our submarine. I'm just going to uh, let's fold it. And then is there a way to copy the whole? I don't usually use folding, right? Okay, so we got submarine and we got we got better submarine. Cool. We have an aim. And now we're going to change what the three functions do. So let's verify. Uh, down will increase the aim by x. So down increases the aim by x. Okay. Up decreases the aim by x. Okay, got that one. And forward increases the horizontal position by x. 
It's already doing that, but it also increases depth by aim multiplied by x. So self.depth plus equals self.aim times x. Let's make sure that that's correct again. Increase depth by aim times x. Aim times x, increase depth. Everything's the same. So then all we have to do is we do this. Uh, better submarine. Oops. We could have actually done a subclass. Um, you know what? Let's actually do that just to make the code shorter. Uh... That. I think that that'll work. I'll have to check the syntax on my the super thing. I always get that wrong. It's because they've changed it so many times in in Python, and I've been coding too long. Uh, yeah, oh, it's probably wrong, but I'll I'll just check it afterwards. Uh, so, you know what? Let's do this. Part one submarine. Part one submarine. Cool. Looks good. Yep. Oh, part one submarine is not defined. Oh, I messed something up. It's part 11. There we go. Oh, maybe it worked. You know what? Let's try to type it in. Come here, you. All right, 2015. That's the right answer. We're good. All right. Thank you for watching uh, Advent of Code 2021 Day 2. We'll be back tomorrow.